Good evening and thank you for joining us on Core TV News on the R. I am Ibn Lomo Adekunle. Nigeria's military authorities say troops have flushed out Boko Haram insurgents from Bara in Yoruba state after two days of fighting. They also disclosed that a similar operation in Gulag, the headquarters of Madagali local government area of Adama state, was successfully taking over. Defense headquarters said through its Twitter feeds that many assorted weapons and vehicles were recovered or destroyed. It was silent on the casualty on both sides but stressed that cordon and search operations are underway in the two communities freshly recaptured from insurgents. President Goodluck Jonathan has paid a surprise visit to some parts of northeast Nigeria that were recently liberated from Boko Haram insurgents. He visited communities in Adama State, accompanied by National Security Advisor Sambu Dasuki, service chiefs, and the state governor Bala Ingilari. The president and his team were in Mubi and victim which had for weeks been occupied by the insurgents until recently. Presidency officials had earlier in the day informed the media about the visit, but insisted Team on media blockout for security back. reasons. President the kind of soldiers is... we know, and I'm indeed happy with their slogan, never again. Never again! Never again! Never again! Never again! So I'm here to reassure you that your countrymen and women, your government, your president is with you. We will not take issues about your welfare carelessly. Well, occasions like this, operations like this sometimes seems delayed, but be rest assured that whatever is due you, you must get. And of course, you will be rewarded according to the traditions and practice. As the President, will surely reward all of you. So I'm here to reassure, to give you that reassurance and to convey that appreciation the brothers and the sisters that we are all with you. And now back in Abuja, presidential spokesman Ruben Abati told state house correspondents that the visit was meant to express the country's gratitude to the soldiers for doing the nation proud. He noted that the troops received assurances of reward for their gallantry as well as continued support to complete the task at hand. President Jonathan applauded the troops for proving their mettle once again through the rapid recapture of territories that were formerly held by insurgents in the northeastern part of the country. Addressing officers and men of the Nigerian Army in Mubi and also in Baga, which were recently recaptured from Boko Haram, President Jonathan declared that he and all Nigerians were very proud of the bravery the competence mm -hmm. and the patriotism with which our troops are now undertaking operations so to expel from the me. insurgents from all parts of Bono, Yobe, and Adamawa states. The president said that with the recent successes which have overwhelmingly turned the tide against Boko Haram, the Nigerian military has proven beyond any doubt that it remains fully capable of defending the territorial integrity of Nigeria. The military's recent victories against Boko Haram, President Jonathan told the troops, have also proven conclusively that all those within and outside the country who cast aspersions on Nigerian soldiers and questioned their ability and willingness to overcome the insurgents were misinformed and wrong. Following the twin bomb explosions in the city of Jos Plateau State, security agencies in the state have confirmed the death toll as 13 lives and 14 injured. This speaking to the journalists after the blasts, Plateau State Commissioner of Police Nasiru Oki, in company of the Special Task Force Commander David Enetti, says calm has returned to the areas people have 
beginning to go about their normal businesses. At about uh, five minutes after six o'clock, there was a bomb blast opposite the Bauchi Boto Park. We have some people lost their lives. About uh, 15 minutes after 6 2, another bomb blast occurred too. That one at uh, Aguarugo Junction. People died in that place too. Invariably, we had 13 people dead and 14 injured. injured. As soon as this uh, bomb blast occurred, all the security agents converged to rescue those who were injured, taking them to the hospital, and taking the dead to the mortuary. The security agencies, including NEMA and SEMA, and even the civilians, too, helped to take the injured to the hospital and the dead to the mortuary. So far, the whole area has been cleared, and uh, we can re can say that relatively, the area is calm now. Thank you very much. Ekiti State's Governor Ayodele Fashi says he would not stop attacking the All Progressives Congress presidential candidate, Mumudu Buhari. Governor Fashi went on to say he owed nobody any apology for exposing the alleged hypocrisy of the APC leaders and accused them of placing personal interests above national interests. Fashi spoke through its Chief Press Secretary, Idowu Adelusi, in Adeoku Ekiti, while reacting to criticisms that had trailed his campaign for the re-election of President Gulag Jonathan of the People's Democratic Party and his continuous attacks on Buhari. He, however, says he has nothing personal against Buhari, but the APC, who, according to him, has not only packaged lies and tried to force such on Nigerians, it has also compromised the Independence National Electoral Commission to rig the election earlier scheduled for February 14th. Faisha says wonders why Buhari could not appear at the APC organized rally in London on Wednesday if indeed he was not on hospital bed. It said the much talked about Chatham House lecture was a face saving measure to cover the true position of Buhari's health. Presidential candidate of the All Progressives Congress, Mumudu Buhari, says the forthcoming general elections is a major step for democratic consolidation on the African continent. Buhari made this known while speaking at the Royal British Institute of International Affairs, otherwise known as Chatham House in London. The APC candidate also used the opportunity of his appearance to assure the international community that if he is elected president, they will have no cause to worry about Nigeria as it's been for some time now. He had he added that the issue of security and youth empowerment will be top on his agenda while also accepting that the expectation from the people at campaign rallies has at much. times been scary. If I don't expect people, I wish him be dead. <laughs> <laughs> so, but um, I, I'm very pleased I'm fit and my doctors have declared me fit and I'm going back for the final onslaught <laughs> on TDP. Um, I don't like so much of Sharia, that's why I omitted it. Um, <laughs> I, I had to ask us, ask to answer so many questions about Sharia when I have closed the meeting with, um, especially with the Christian community. The problem is the Nigerian constitution is superior. Um, Sharia is put on the same level with customary laws. Uh, its relevance is limited to inheritance, marriage, you know, and so on. So people that uh, cultures and communities accept. So Sharia is limited to that by our constitution. So anybody who wants to change Sharia will have to go and change the constitution. But some protesters, whom the APC says were paid by the presidency, also gathered outside to condemn his presidential Hi. ambition. I spoke to you earlier on. Please, I want you to tell me why you're doing this. Because we don't want dictatorship in Nigeria anymore. Why? What do you know about the general? The general Bori? Yes. Oh, I just heard about him from people that it's not a good leader or something. Like that. You only heard from people. 
Have you done your studies about him? What is that? Have you done your studies about him or not? No. But how did you come about this demonstration? I was told. I don't know. I don't know what to say. I'm not prepared for this interview. Nice. Okay, let me speak to my sister. How are you doing, darling? What's your name? Okay, tell me why you're doing this demonstration. You don't really know. Why don't you know? Is it because of the voting? Because of voting. What do you believe in? You're not Nigerian. I am Nigerian, but I'm. Where are you from in Nigeria? Yoruba. You're Yoruba. So I don't really know anything much about. You don't know much about. About politics. <laughs> okay, so tell me what you're doing here then. I came here to, you know, support. Support who? You can talk to me. I'm your friend. I'm Nigeria and I'm from Edo State. You came to support. You came to support to be the Jonathan. Why are you supporting Jonathan? You don't know why you're supporting him. So why are you against Buhari? Oh, I'm not against anyone. Like. I'm not against anyone. Okay, but why are you here for this demonstration? I don't really know. Okay then, you don't know why. That's fine. Okay. Um, the girls I was going to speak with earlier on, they've actually moved. Hello darling, can we speak? How are you doing? Can you tell us about this demonstration? Uh, I don't really know what you're talking about. I speak. I don't know. I just want to get... Do you don't want to speak to me? No, 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 no. no. Why don't you want to speak? No, what part of you is like... Hello, sweetheart. Can you speak with me, please? I don't really know why you're doing it. Why are you doing it for your friends? But why are you doing this against? We need answers. Okay, do you want to We need answers, Omaru Diko. Okay. We need answers. Okay. I can only work for a few hours a week. Okay. As a matter of fact, I, can, I mean, I can understand or relate to their sentiment. Okay. The reason why they not in their interest for the fact that they need to put food on their table, okay. they, have, they have to do this. So they have to do They it. have to do this. Don't blame them. They are just a victim of the same system that have been there during us in the last six years. Okay. Sorry, poor students. These are students. And these are international students. The People's Democratic Party presidential campaign organization is seeking to downplay Muhammadu Buhari's appearance at Chatham House as a desperate attempt to curry favor in a foreign country. Spokesman for the campaign team, Femi Fanikayode, said in a statement that it was amazing that the APC presidential candidate that refuses to participate in a debate in his own country was keen to sell his message to a foreign audience. He argued that General Buhari believes it was more important to win the heart and minds of the British than those of the Nigerian people. Fanny Kairi described the event as a stage-managed show of shame but promised to go into more details at a later date. It's the Court TV News on the hour. We'll take a break and return with more. Don't go away. Every day, every hour and every minute, news break in Nigeria. Things happen so fast it's most times difficult to track and comprehend them. But that's what we do right here on DJ360. 2015, would you want to come back again? It's like asking Jesus Christ if he knew he was going to die, will you, come, will you want to come back as the savior of the world again? We do not just help you track the stories, we break them down. Explore all the angles, analyze the issues so that you can fully comprehend the stories and use them to make the right decisions. Thank you for being there. And for more news and other information, you can visit our social media platforms on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash TV News. Our Twitter handle at TV News NG. And on YouTube, youtube.com forward slash TV, Liverspace, then News. 
Signatures representing the All Progressives Congress say the federal government will next week direct the chairman of the Independence National Electoral Commission, Atayu Jega, to proceed on terminal leave. They claimed that the head of service had been directed to serve the memo on the INEC chairman to ease him out of office during the run-up to the elections. APC senators made this allegation at a news conference held in the National Assembly complex. The lawmakers led by minority leader George Akume, however, vowed to resist the move, which they insist is contrary to all known conventions. We have received information from very, very informed source, a very, very credible source, that next week, the national cha the chairman of the INEC, National Independent uh, Electoral Commission, Electoral Commission sure will be given a letter, will be served a letter by the Office of the Head of Civil Service directing him to proceed on terminal leave. Oppose the removal because it is criminal, it is illegal, it is unconstitutional. We oppose this removal through the back door because government itself knows if Jigar goes wrong, you have to remove him by using the Senate to take him out but you know you require two-thirds, and that is why they are running away. If you postpone election, suddenly you say Jagash should go, then Nigerians should be uh, deceived. The, uh, Nigerians would have been deceived into taking it that elections were extended because uh, there were no uh, sufficient uh, PVCs to enable ev each and everybody to, to vote. This is very clear. Jaga is not a civil servant. The guy is a political appointee, mm -hmm. appointed in accordance with the provisions of the Constitution. How to appoint him is clearly stated in the Constitution. The president has to nominate a name of the chairman to the Senate, and Senate confirms. The removal will also be the same way. The president feels otherwise that the guy should not be the one to do this election. The president should give us the reasons why and bring it to Senate, and Senate will have to approve it by two thirds majority. Indigo Cultural Society of Nigeria is insisting that the chairman of the Independence National Electoral Commission, Atayiro Jaga, must proceed on pre disengagement leave. The group said in a statement issued by its president, Udo Udogaraya, in Lagos, that it would amount to discrimination if Jaga's case is treated differently from that of his predecessor, Maurice Iwu. It argued that many people opposing a similar action in 2015 did not say anything when in 2010 the then acting president could look Jonathan ordered Iwo to proceed on a terminal leave. Indigo Cultural Society also maintained that Jega has to go on terminal leave having displayed what it described as incompetence in the distribution of voters cards as well as his inability to conduct elections as and when due. It's added that those citing the Constitution to stop federal government from doing its job should be prepared to proceed to the courts for proper interpretation of the constitutional powers of the president on terminal leave of all government appointees. The National Human Rights Commission and the Nigeria Civil Society Situation Room have jointly agreed to protect the independence and the credibility of the Independent National Electoral Commission. They are also demanding an independent investigation of the role played by some military personnel and political office holders during the 2014 governorship election in Ekiti State. The two bodies said this in a joint statement issued after a meeting between the Commission and the coalition of about 60 civil society groups. Both sides reviewed the Commission's pre-election report and advisory on violence in the 2015 elections and concluded that credible elections must hold on the desi designated dates. They also expressed concern about the possibility of dragging key institutions into politics and agreed to work together to protect the professionalism and neutrality of all security units to be deployed for the elections. The statement was signed by Chidi Odinkalu for the Human Rights Commission and Clement Umakwa, the convener of the Nigeria Civil Society Situation Room. 
The Residence Commissioner of INEC in Lagos State, Akin Rebi, says over one million permanent voter cards are yet to be collected by registered voters in the state. Rebi made this disclosure while demonstrating workings of INEC card reader to Lagos State's Governor, Papatu de Fashola, and members of the executive at the Lagos House, Ikeja. 3,693,000 so far have been distributed. And we still have in our custody at the moment 1,800,000 cards. We are still expecting to receive in Lagos another 430,000 cards, thereabout. Everything should give us roughly 5,905,000 cards. So we keep on uh, um, appealing to our people to do come out to collect these cards. From this Friday till Sunday, Again, we'll be at the polling units for the purpose of distributing these cards. So people should kindly come forward to collect their cards at the polling unit. After the demonstration, Governor Fashola urged the electoral umpire to invite other political parties for the demonstration of the electoral I card think reader. You should Pepe. also uh, perhaps call a meeting of all the together and let them know how this process also works so that they can then become your food soldiers in educating their supporters and their members. And we must do more of this because as you said, this is the first time we're using this machine. And I think the next two weeks uh, will become very critical in enlightening people how this process works. A group of Yoruba political leaders have endorsed President Gulag Jonathan's re-election bid, a move they described as the only option for goodwill to the Yoruba nation if the president gets a second term. According to the chairman, Yoruba caucus, Olufalai, anyone who parades a different candidate other than President Jonathan does not have the interest of the Yoruba nation at heart. Omotayo Alo has details. It was a strategic meeting more of a solemn assembly where Yoruba political leaders brainstorm on where the pendulum should swing and who becomes Nigeria's next president. The conference, which was tagged with the objective of mapping out the future for the Yoruba nation, had one message, which was centered on the resolve to re-elect President Goodluck Jonathan in 2015. We supported Buhari at that time because he promised to convene a national conference and restructure Nigeria on the basis of his report. He has since joined a party that is, that is opposed to what he committed to in 2007. So we are supporting Jonathan for precisely the same reason that made us support Buhari in 2007. Anywhere you find yourself, please tell them the reason why Jonathan Buhari cannot be our president. It's a weekly. We don't need a weekly to rule this country. He will not be able to take a mission on his own. And as such, we don't need that fellow now. For the unity of this country, Jonathan should continue. Undo State Governor Olushegu Mimiko, who convened the Yoruba Conference, says Jonathan's continuity in office is in the best interest of not only Yoruba nation, but for Nigeria as a whole. I therefore congratulate the Yoruba nation and all Nigerians that finally the dream of coming together to dialogue how they should be governed came to reality under President Good Luck Ebele Jonathan. Given a nod to Mimiko's submission, these all the Yoruba leaders say they have met with candidates of the two major political parties contesting for presidency and the only candidates willing to implement the resolution of the national conference which will favor Yorubas is Jonathan hence the full support for him. This election is not about party. It's about the soul of this country, the future of this country, how to move this country forward. And it's, between, it's an election between the path of freedom and the path of slavery. And Yoruba people should side with freedom. We now have a very beautiful recommendation, 633. Someone now told us now, give me an opportunity I will implement the outcome. So who do you want me to support? 
You want me to support somebody who kick against what I want to do, do, what I do for four months? After an extensive discussion, Chairman of the Conference, Ayo Adipanjo, announced the undivided resolve of the conference to favor the incumbent presidents in the coming polls. We resolve, therefore, to fully back and work for the re-election of President Goodrum Jonathan in the presidential elections, as only this could guarantee the implementation of the confirmed resolution. As Nigerians continue to show support for the candidate of their choice in the forthcoming election, the result accumulated on the day of voting could really be the judge of where the heart of the people lie. Omotayu Alo, Court TV News, Ibadan. And that's it on Court TV News for this hour. Join us again, top of the hour for more. Thank you for watching. I am Ebulomo Adekunle.